A SpaceX rocket broke apart during a test flight from South Texas. It sent debris streaking across the sky as it fell back down to Earth and forced a temporary halt to flights at two South Florida airports. This is the second time in two months something like this has happened to a SpaceX rocket. Mark Strassman shows us it's a setback for efforts to put people back on the moon. What? is going on right now. Those sparks over the sky Thursday night sparked many questions. Oh my gosh, it's like lighting up the water. The bright lights seen in the Bahamas. Oh, it's going down. Over the Turks and Caicos Islands. And in Florida, where one spectator had the right answer for clusters of fire flying. Hey guys, Starship. That would be SpaceX's uncrewed Starship rocket. It was the eighth test flight of the world's largest and most powerful rocket, but it didn't fly far after lifting off from Boca Chica, Texas. Stage separation. It did fly its first stage booster back into the chopstick-like arms of its launch tower as planned and seemingly perfect. But nearly two minutes later, a malfunction. The rocket started to spin out of control while in space. You can see we've lost several engines and we've lost attitude control of the vehicle. SpaceX said the vehicle experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly and then lost contact with Starship. That's when people saw the spectacular show of debris in the sky. A very similar sight to what happened in January when another Starship also broke up over Turks and Caicos. Two failures in a row for SpaceX, obviously a significant setback. A setback in getting American boots back on the moon, says CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. The company has to put together a string of successful flights uh, to convince NASA it's reliable enough and safe enough to put astronauts on board. Uh, and how long that's going to take is anybody's guess. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, has billions of dollars in NASA contracts to use this rocket to return astronauts to the moon through the agency's Artemis program by 2027 and before China puts their own on the lunar surface. But Musk and his new boss also have big plans for the rocket to go beyond. Elon, get those rocket ships going because we want to reach Mars before the end of my term. We want to do it. For now, all Starship flights are on hold, while the FAA orders SpaceX to investigate. I'm Mark Strassman.